What's up guys, welcome to some Atlas news, this is the patch notes for patch V519.5, just quickly this is a new format I'm trying, so we previously did the news update that will contain the post that goes with the patch notes where we talk about what they've brought into the game etc and now we'll do the patch notes in a separate video to make things a little bit quicker a little bit more digestible hopefully people like the format let me know what you think down below but let's get stuck into it massive shout out to the latest youtube members and patrons jonathan hansen and joseph dufresne patch notes v519.5 new structure lumberyard the lumberyard is a farm that only gathers fat and wood it can be crafted at the smithy after learning the advanced automation skill in the construction and merchantilism tree shares placement restrictions with other farmhouses gathers about one third more wood and thatch than a regular farmhouse crafting resources 800 wood 600 thatch 320 fiber 280 metal 100 hide new structure keg the keg is a new storage container used to store alcohol. It can be crafted at Smithy after learning the secrets of cooking skill in the cooking and farming tree. All alcohol items can be stored in stacks of 50. Crafting resources, 30 fibre, 5 metal, 50 thatch, 60 wood. New bow ammo type, Trank Arrow. Trank Arrows are significantly more effective against tameable creatures. Players and NPCs are immune to Trank Arrows. Crafting resources, one stone arrow, 20 berries. New keratinoid resource, rhino horn. Rhino horns can now be obtained by defeating rhinos. Armored docks. Updated UI text on armored docks to clarify that only one gold is consumed when the timer expires. Bug fixes. Armored docks no longer stop working for a period of time after server restarts. Armored docks no longer consume all gold in our event tree after server restarts. Ramming Galley added 75 rhino horns to the cost, base speed increased by 40%, increased turn speed while sails are closed, increased damage of all cannons on the ship from 100 to 125%, ramming NPC ships with Ramming Galley now deals damage, players can now swim through some large holes in the Ramming Galley after it sinks. Bug Fixes Health is no longer displayed for undamageable parts of the ship, including weapons. Demolish option no longer appears for components that have already been demolished after the ship sinks. Ramming galley can no longer be crafted in the large shipyards. Forward facing large cannons are now correctly assigned to the front station group. Oars will now always automatically retract after idling for 10 seconds. Sail rigging now previews correctly when placing new sails. Just quickly, guys. Um, so the increased speed by forty percent for the base speed is a flat increase to speed. I said in the news part of the video, the post video, um, that I wasn't sure whether the speed increase was only while the sails are closed. It isn't. It's a base increase to speed by forty percent, no matter what and it's just the turn speed that's been increased while sails are closed. Ships, max reverse speed for all ships increased by 200%, bug fixes, level cap for max quality ships restored to 60. Note, the max level of ships built during the previous patch won't change. Winter event, Christmas trees now produce gifts every 12 hours, bug fixes, Santa hat skin no longer disappears from player event trees, Santa Hat is now properly positioned on monkeys, parrots and penguins. <laughs> Resolved issue where stockings and Christmas trees would stop producing coal or gifts after server restarts. Trade. Fixed some cases where markets would break. Limit the number of trade offers markets can have to 20. Miscellaneous. Made some server reliability improvements. Bears can now <laughs> equip hats. Glider suit can now only be activated under 110 meters height, about the height of the lighthouse. Reduced grills damage resistance. Sea fort walls now swap to a damaged mesh when destroyed rather than disappearing. Bug fixes. Explosive barrels can no longer deal damage in free ports. Removed some bad maps from treasure map spawning. And there is the funky hats on the cool looking bears. Looking awesome. <laughs> 
And final note, as always, again we would like to emphasise that Atlas is in early access, meaning many things can and will likely continue to drastically change. Even in the middle of development, anything discussed is only up to date as of the moment it is posted. Features and changes that ultimately make it to the next patch, as well as timing, may be different from what was previously discussed. As always, we appreciate the suggestions and feedback from the community. Please keep them coming. Thanks for your continued support. Awesome, there you go, there's the patch notes guys, again, like I said, I've split this up, so we've got the patch notes, and then we did the post that goes with the patch notes separately, and uh, yeah, so all my thoughts and stuff are in that video, check it out, link at the end in the description, and in the pinned comment. If you found it informative guys, if you like this new format, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, all that kind of good stuff, let me know your thoughts down below. I think this has been an awesome patch, a nice one to end the year on, some really nice additions with the lumber yard and the trank arrows, um, pretty cool to see a new keratinoid added with the rhino horn, and obviously the keg's pretty damn cool as well. I like the changes to the ramming galley, I think um, there's some nice changes, I really like the lamming, the lamming galley? <laughs> I really like the ramming galley personally, um, so it's nice to see some new tweaks to that. And obviously, most importantly, we can now put hats on bears, which is amazing news. So there you go. Again, I said this at the end of the um, post video. I don't know what you call it, but the patch post video, the other video that goes with this one, basically. Just saying a massive shout out to the uh, Atlas dev team. Massive thank you guys for all your hard work. I know opinions will vary on the content and how things are done, etc. But nevertheless, I want to say a massive thank you i think you guys are doing a great job it's been a great year for atlas um it's awesome to see it moving in a new brighter direction can't wait to see what the future holds for the game um it's been amazing the last few months to see all the new communication and the way the, the dev team are going about you know keeping us informed keeping us up to date and they are putting out regular patches and updates and fixes. So a massive thank you guys. I really appreciate your hard work. And again, I can't wait to see where the game goes. And um, I really do hope it becomes the massive success we all want it to be. Uh, because it still has massive potential. And I, like many of us, absolutely love Atlas. So again, massive shout out to Dev Team. Thank you very much for your hard work. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. All that goodness. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Let me know what you think to this format of the patch notes and the post-patch memo. <laughs> I don't even know what it is. The post-patch message. We'll call it that. Um, being split into two videos. Let me know what you think down below. And um, again, Merry Christmas, guys. Happy New Year. Enjoy the new hats on bears. I can't wait to stick some hats on bears. <laughs> and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers, guys. Cheers, guys.